Four volunteers from West Michigan killed in a car crash. Matt Cucci, Mayor LaPonce, and Rita and Jim Swingross all gone. Tonight we are learning more about one of those victims, Matt Cucci. Fox 17's Mitch Fick tells us how he's being remembered. When the names of these four victims were released last Friday, the name Matt Cucci sounded familiar to a lot of people here at Fox 17, so we checked our archives. It turns out Matt was one of our biggest Tigers fans during our World Series coverage back in October. Tonight we've learned more about Matt. Family and friends say he was a man who just loved to serve others. When we met Matt Cucci at his office in Holland in October, he was wearing a full Detroit Tigers uniform and was loving the team's postseason run. We had an uh, email go out last night from a corporate office saying that it was Tigers Day. It was the, uh, the usual harassment, but uh, I think they liked it. They liked the spirit. Friends and family tell me that Matt also loved people, especially when he could help them in any way. He got involved with the Parish of the Holy Spirit's service trips to Haiti and their work in medical and dental care because his father was in the medical field. They say Matt loved being a mentor and bonded with everybody he met. He was a 2010 grad of Grand Valley State, but a big-time Michigan State fan. He was engaged to be married and planned on getting his physical to join the National Guard. Matt is also the nephew of Kent County Undersheriff John Hess. Hess told me outside the Coochie home this afternoon that his daughter, Matt's cousin, was one of the 14 other people that traveled to Haiti for the mission trip. All 14 have since returned home. Now tonight, two members of Haiti Needs You, the group that organized that mission trip, are back in Haiti working with government officials to get the four bodies back to the United States and to West Michigan. No set timetable as to how long that will take, but we are told both sides, the United States and Haiti, are cooperating. In Grand Rapids, Mitch Vick, Fox 17 News.